blessed day my viewers and my subscribers before me jumping at the topics my beginning to hit that like button it will be greatly appreciated now the topics coming up in this video massacre's 438 album save dancehall according to fans and massacre also celebrates the number two spot on the billboard reggae chart beanie man allegedly paid seven thousand pound for child support in england and is now back in jamaica with his new woman shabarang's alleged road manager apologizes to joshi and the whole jamaica Josh's management and publicist gets blamed for his behavior on entertainment report. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Shabarang's alleged manager or road manager apologizing to Shabarang's and him also apologized to Joshi as well. You understand people? And why I say alleged, I'm going to soon find out as I read this article to you guys. As you know, people, one bag of liar go on right about now. But this is what the article say. Zanuda apologizes to Shabarang's and Joshi. Six hours after Bounty Killer order, Charles Zanuda ends to apologize for this Disparaging statements he made against Cream of the Crap DJ Joshi and the entire Jamaican nation, Ennis had complied partially. Yesterday, Bounty Killer came out in a staunch defense of Joshi after Zanuda responded to the comments that the youngster made about Shaba in a television Jamaica interview. The apology, which was submitted to Dance Almag by Shabarang's team for publication late yesterday evening on behalf of a seemingly remorseful Zanudo, note that he had misrepresented his position in relation to Shabarang's business affairs and was not road manager as he has claimed as far back as 2012. Zanudo's full apology is as follows. My name is Charles Zanudo Ennis and I am an independent artist. I do not represent ERE or Shabarangs in the capacity of management, road management or in any other capacity. Any comments attributed to me regarding the talent Joshi do not reflect any comment or views of Shabarangs or ERE. I did not consult or speak to Shabarangs or ERE management before these comments were made. My opinions do not reflect those of Shabarang's or his management team whatsoever. I want to be sure that my actions do not negatively impact on Shabarang's character and brand, which is so highly regarded by his peers, fans, and colleagues in the business. I apologize to Shaba and Joshi for any misrepresentation or misrepresentation that may have occurred due comments attributed to myself. Shaba's team also told Dan Salmag that apart from misrepresenting himself, Zanado provides vocal support in the capacity of artists for Shaba Company Empire Ranks Entertainment. Yesterday, Bounty Killer had taken no prisoners declaring that he was not only re rising to the defense of Joshi, but he was hammering Zanado for his insolence in attempting to disrespect Jamaica with the utterance for which he should apologize. This lunatic needs to apologize quick and fast because first place, him this Shaba for comparing Joshi to Shaba, then him this Jamaica that made all of us by saying that country also calling the kid a piece of shit. The copper shot artist declared in a stern reprimand to Zanado, which he posted on his Instagram page. No management speak in those languages, and since nobody knows Joshi, why took it so hard then? I guess everybody knows him now. Bounty added, Zanado had told Dan Salmag on Monday in response to the television Jamaica interview that Joshi was among other things not on Shaba's level. In the TV interview, Joshi said the overseas dancehall superstars including Shaba Ranks were afraid to extend a hand to the new generation of artists. He had then praised Bounty Killer for his constant altruism which he extends toward young musicians and his willingness to give full support and collaborate on tracks with unknown upcoming artists, declaring the answer supportive artist should not be spoken about. Yesterday evening, Bounty also shared a statement from Josh's brother, Ari Ipe's IG page, which stated that the utterance made by Zanado were seriously troubling and alarming, as well as filled with racism, classism, and hate. I find the same to be very loud, disturbing, and disgraceful. What makes it worse is that the statement is not only geared directed at the young First Nation artist Joshi, but the entire Jamaica. The statement read in part. The statement also said that Zanado referring to the country of Shaba's birth as that country is irresponsible, disrespectful and wrong. The very country that honored Shaba ranks with an order of distinction, the Jamaica that made him who he is today, at that country seriously, I think these comments reflect and confirm an arrogant and ignorant mentality, the statement read. So yes, people, at least him come out and apologize. And earlier on, I actually did post a video which me did after delete because I never know said so the manager. Why me I call him manager? The brother here, Zanudo, whatever I want him, did actually come out and apologize. You understand what I say, people? 
So that's a way I'm off to say. Of course, you know, say we're gonna see if Bounty Killer go respond to his apology. Even though the, the apology is not aimed at Bounty Killer, you know, people. But at the end of the day, you don't know say Bounty come out and blast him and speak in mind and things. So that might have had some form of influence in getting this brother for actually apologize. You see, my people. So him do the right thing, but you have to know where you are. You see me? You can't style Jamaica. You can't style Jashi. You can't call you a piece of shit and them thing. You see me? Especially you are represent Shaba. You are affiliated with. Shaba, me should have said, you are affiliated with him, and at the end of the day, you, you, you still make him brand look away, shake you up and thing, you see me, when you represent them top DJ there, you have to know what you are doing at the public space, you understand, especially when you know that something I got go out there, if you even feel that way, say it in private, but if you actually put it out there and know say it I go out there in the public space, now I go sit well with a lot of these people, you see me? But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing I want to talk about is Beanie Man. Now some news or rumors, I should have said, Zayn, it has circulated. Beanie Man had to pay £7,000 in the UK for child support because you don't know where the hear the rumors say I have a child support case are going over there and stuff like that. And basically this is coming from Pinkwall. So of course, you know, we have to take this with a grain of salt because it is not confirmed news. But a lot of times things where we hear over Pinkwall are what we say it end up being true because the people will have inside links and who know the good thing sending the information and that is how it get out to the public and thing. Zimmer people. So anyway, the information as I said was posted over there and this is what them say. Zim Zimmer, him keep sure what they my love and pay seven thousand pounds out of the amount of shokums him fly gone home now. Yes it people. So basically them are saying pay the seven thousand pounds and of course that is towards the child support case where him did have allegedly. Yes Zimmer people. So being the man is currently in Jamaica and he's also here with his new bow and it seemed like them did a celebrate a little girl birthday I'm not sure if a beanie man child or if a fair child my mind tell me say a beanie man daughter still in our people because we know say them man they have a whole heap of kids you know you see me but of course we don't know all them children them so we only assume you see my people but Disha Rivers was there as well and I think beanie man's son when I'm son them was there as well you see my people so yeah check out that clip here and I guess you know, can tell me what you think in the comment section you see it one, two. Happy birthday to you. One, two. Happy birthday, dear Shia. What? Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. One, two. May the good Lord bless you. One, two. May the good Lord bless you. Yeah, I've been having a few times for free. You can't 
All right, people, so definitely a good look still. Beanie Man does enjoy himself, and you know, the man enjoy himself with him, woman and thing. One thing with Beanie Man, you know, when he's in love, the man not care where people want to see, and you can't blame him. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the genocide boss. Yes, you know, people, Masika is celebrating success with his 438 album being at the number two spot on the Billboard Reggae album chart. Yes, you know, people, and this just goes to show you, see, you see, when you put out good music, the people, them, actually appreciate it because the comments they want me say i have not seen no album this year where every single body has said the same thing about every single body has said the best album for the year you know i may even see one person left a comment saying massacre's album actually saved dancehall do you agree with that i feel like say, that is too much of a wagonist yes you have stands and you have fans you know stands are them people where anything the artist do whether it be good or bad them support them them say the best thing all when you put out garbage music you have the stands them with this side say the song sound good regardless you understand now is this a stand or a fans but anyway people I'm soon showing that comment and thing massacre actually reposted a little picture showing the top six yeah the top six songs them on the reggae billboard chart and basically you can see that bob marley is at number one massacre their number two um sean paul the number three shaggy the number four and so forth you understand people so definitely a good look now after massacre post that in the caption he said same old book hashtag 438 album hashtag legends live forever it's all massa people and a whole lot of persons in the comment section damage music a whole lot of people are big up massacre and thing you understand but one person left a comment saying the man saved dance all with 438 album yes my people do you agree with that Boy, oh boy, did Massacre actually save Dancehall? Was Dancehall boring before Massacre album? That are the question, you see me? Because remember, you know, Massacre did even go up on Instagram live and say, Yo, but know the people, them tired of the little idiot song, them are out there now, you know, we soon drop the Big Bad album, you know, you see me, people, and the man drop it, and it seemed like everybody appreciate the work of Massacre Putin, you understand? Massacre also make it clear, say, the amount of song we him have, him can make a next album right now. Him can make two albums, him can make three albums. The man have over a thousand songs um, put on right about now. You see my people? So maybe we might get a next album soon. You never can tell. Or maybe he might just put them song the out of singles or whatever it may be. You see? But big up yourself, Massacre. You don't know, say you put in the work and you're a good artist. You see? So big up yourself anyway people leave some comments in the comment section and make me know anything about this is it so triple x actually went live seen people and of course you know so triple x him always a speak on these issues and those things were happening on social media you understand now i'm going to say him blame Josh's management and also the publicist for the way all the interview was conducted with Anthony Miller and thing, you understand? And I guess because Josh was allegedly intoxicated, even though Josh said him never was. You understand what I say? Now Triple X go live and him talk up a whole heap of things. You understand what I say, people? And also him give Josh a lot of respect and say the part of the interview where, where him touch him, where touch him the most is when Josh did a speak about him mother. You can feel the love. And me actually feel the love to you know people because when Joshua talk about him mother it's almost like him did want to break down in her tears you know when you want to make your mother proud and you want to do the best thing in her life and make she alright and them thing you understand now you know say Joshua mother based upon what I'm saying at the interview she sells soup in her grand spin and them thing you understand but it seems like she don't want to stop do that she don't want to the woman all of them thing so triple X touch upon all of that because of course you know say you have some parents who want to do them they want to do them things same way all if you have a million dollar yes you can help set up them business better and them thing but them now come home and do sit down and not do nothing. You understand? We say Ayakteen mother stay the same way. She out there do her thing. And of course, you know, say Ayakteen rich and all them things. They can put him mother in a mansion and she does stay there every day. But you have some parents who don't really want to do that. They want to go out there and work. So we have to respect them mothers and fathers. They understand people. But let's get into this Instagram live now. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave you with this live. Let me know if you don't agree with what Triple X is saying in the comment section. You see my people. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell on bless upon yourself and keep safe i'm out 
Mr. Miller, Mr. Anthony Miller, you are wrong. That was extremely unprofessional of you uh, for interviewing an artist while he was inebriated or intoxicated, knowing that you were going to put it on a public platform, especially on a, on a very, we call it, you know, conservative, conservative media platform as television Jamaica. You should have never conducted an interview with a person like that is enumerated to put him on a conservative platform such as TVJ while you know that. That's true. Journalism 101. That's an ethics 101. You know better than that, Anthony Miller. So you're wrong. I'm wrong. You're right. So. Second of all, the people them around Joshi, the man them around him in him inner circle, the man them are there with him, every single last one on the want a conk in on the forehead. The whole one want a conk in on the forehead. The whole one need a slap on the wrist. The whole one really and truly. Some of them need to get shub out to. Shub right out. Because you're not supposed to know so the artist you want to handle. Whoever is him manager, whoever is him roadie, whoever is him, who, who, whoever is in charge of, 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 of is whoever is his publicist deserve to lose them work because number one them supposed to they know and stand up and see what go on in the interview and see and try to reschedule the interview seeing that joshi was inebriated i try to say i could delay the interview for another two three hours i could see if we can get him sober up give him some tomato juice um see if we can give him some onion garlic or something and slap out the intoxication out of him system see if we can make him drink some water or whatever and get him at a more calmer and sober 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 mind for speak on an interview yeah. grant you what it is that he said in the interview a lot of what he is the majority of what he said in the interview I take no, I, I don't take a grain of salt with any of it. I, I, I concur. I agree with, with with the majority of what he says in the interview. The majority, like the vast majority of what he said, I agree with it. You understand? It's not a matter of saying, for me say, oh, Joshua talk foolishness or whatever. The only problem that I had with this interview, the, the main problem that I had with this interview was the fact that he was inebriated. So his delivery was a little bit uncouth. You understand me? I say, the delivery where he it was a little bit raw, a little bit, we call it now, overly aggressive and, and agitative. You understand me? I say it wasn't smooth, it wasn't easy going, it, it never painted him in a in a, a samba like him. He, he came off as an aggressor and, and he came off as somebody who was hostile in his demeanor because of the enumeration. I mean, no, say because he's intoxicated, why all them something like that. No. You see a man like Joshi in the circles where him grow. I'm not going to say this. Eh? And everybody will grow in a garrison. Grow up, come no gun. And everybody will grow in a garrison. Grow up, come no badness. And everybody will grow in a garrison. Grow up and get indoctrinated in a life of crime. Now, based on the purportment of Joshi, you can see say, this young man is somebody who has seen the darker sides of garrison liberty. He has seen or he has been exposed to the darker sides of garrison liberty. Now that he has tried to embrace his musical talents or his, his musical exploits, he has is basically given himself a medium where he can bring himself away from that. But bringing yourself away from that doesn't mean that you're going to disenfranchise yourself from the entire lifestyle where you live and live a fantasy life or depict a fantasy of what what is his claim to fame or is life branch or his lifeline to pull himself out of the squalor that he grew up under is for him to depict his lifestyle in a harmonious way you understand in song he's like a poet of his circumstances you understand me i said so he might put fame him come like it's like a shakespearean thing he might deal with Based on a, a, a Shakespearean depiction of the life where him live. You understand when put his lifestyle or his experiences, whether it be negative or positive, in a poetic form as a medium for skate upon that true poverty. The, as he must say, as Anthony would have said, so-called reality music and a so-called reality, a theme reality that. Theme reality, I'm saying about theme reality. This is a reality where people like Anthony Miller, people from the upper echelons of society, can never, ever, ever, ever truly understand 
because they live in gated communities or they live in well manicured communities that are patrolled not only by the Jamaica Constabulary Force but by King Alarm and Akai and certain things. So certain things they are not exposed to. These people who are bashing the young man, they have never seen one of their childhood friends get slain in front of them eye. Not even say one, two, three, four, five. First, you see slain in front of your eyes. And after you see these people slain, you have never gone to therapy any at all. This are the life and this are the experience of people like Joshi and artists like them, they live. Man make a statement to even me and myself say, this is one of the things that me say, me, me find wrong in the interview. Where the man say, if me have a hundred thousand dollar today, a hundred man beg me, me I give the whole hundred thousand out of it. And then tomorrow, him go look at money off a dub plate or something. So him can have it if you do what he wants to do that day. day. The reason why I have a problem with that statement that what Joshi say is because you see when you're that kind hearted, people are going to try to manipulate you and take advantage of you. When Anthony Miller asks and says, so what if they ask tomorrow? He was so naive to the fact to say, oh, they won't ask tomorrow because they've already gotten today. <laughs> he was so naive to that. So you can see there's a little bit of naivety in the, in the, in the person of him. But one of the calming parts of the interview when, was when Anthony started to press him about his family status. He spoke of his brother, Harry Hype. Big up yourself, Harry Hype. Big up yourself, boom, boom. He spoke of his brother, Harry, Harry Hype. And how Harry Hype has taken responsibility of his child. And also the fact that his mother is still adamant that she can't, she wants to continue to sell soup in the community. She doesn't want to sit at home to take care of him. And he's saying that he is off means to do that. And when he started to speak of his mother, how far he went up into his feelings and his emotions you could see you could literally see and feel the love resonating through the screen come a phone me i watch it and i feel the love for his mother resonating through the phone screen and grab it and 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 grab it and grabbing me make it giving me a sense of Janus star that you tell really and truly respect everything where mother do feel and him brother do feel and him so I is really and truly appreciative of everything that his mother has done for him and he sp spoke of how he wants to take his mother out of school and, and the way his men and talk about you see well, even though him intoxicated and he was inaugurated and he was being angry and he spoke with a sense of arrogance when it came to that point of the interview when him start to speak about his mother, he was he man simmer down to nothing but gravy and potato. Simmer right down to the thickest of the part of the gravy, wherever broad being boss in the gravy. Simmer right down. And he spoke of his mother with such passion. You understand? When everybody got jump up and sit and jump on the bang wagon and try to tear. Can I see it or no? I see everybody on Twitter cut cut the video. Everybody on Instagram cut cut the video. Everybody on TikTok cut cut the video and I make be memes. But when the food not, and them something and then turn it into a joke. When only not even I'll see, say this is exactly how the heart, this is the heart of Jamaica. We only not understand. No one feel like the heart of Jamaica, the beach, them on the north coast. Or the heart of Jamaica, the man them will live uptown. Or the art of Jamaica, the man they must sit so and go to them suit or the call center. Them. The art of Jamaica and the beating art of Jamaica is every garrison, is every gully, is every trench in this country. That is the heartbeat and the soul.